I'm Dominic Stevens. There's a lot happened this week, both internationally and domestically. The upshot of it all is that the New Zealand dollar has fallen and could go lower, and interest rates have gone up and could go higher still from here. Now let's start at the start. On Monday we had consumer confidence, which really leapt higher. A large number of people are saying now is a good time to buy a major household item, and plenty of people are saying that if they got a $10,000 windfall, they'd, sa they'd spend it rather than saving it. Now this is really important news because for a long time the Reserve Bank has adopted the assumption that rising house prices would not provoke more consumer spending. We've taken issue with that assumption and thought that uh, this house price cycle would be more like normal. It would create consumer spending and require interest rate hikes. This week's consumer confidence data really lent more, favor more towards Westpac's view of the world than the Reserve Bank's. On the other hand, though, uh, we had March quarter GDP, and that was below expectations. The economy grew just 0.3%. Construction sector certainly booming as expected, but the drought took a little nibble out of GDP growth this quarter, and I think there was a lot of payback from the outsized strength we saw back in the December quarter. So it brings us back to earth a little bit. Um, the overall summary is that the economy is on a stop-start, uh, patchy, but nevertheless fairly pervasive upturn in growth. Now, the domestic news really was swamped by international news. The Federal Reserve in the United States has announced that um, it feels quite upbeat about the U.S. economy. If the data remains strong, it, it will wind down its quantitative easing program. Now, that was major news that boosted the U.S. dollar and therefore caused the New Zealand dollar to fall. We think the New Zealand dollar could fall even further in the short run. Now that, in turn, could produce some inflation because a lower New Zealand dollar makes imports more expensive. And a little bit of inflation in the, in, the, in the near term may make the Reserve Bank of New Zealand feel more hawkish or more inclined to lift interest rates or signal uh, 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 an increase in interest rates. The second uh, effect is that interest rates around the world have lifted on this news. So when we look at New Zealand's interest rates, there's been a double whammy here. The possibility of a more hawkish reserve bank plus rising global rates has meant that the two-year swap rate and even more so the 10-year bond yield have risen quite substantially. It's been a big enough move that it could be felt for um, in mortgage rates, which could lift, and in corporate borrowing rates. Talk to you next week.